Hello everybody, welcome back to Friday Sews. I'm Alison and welcome to a bit of sewing chat. It'll be a bit of sewing chat because there's not been an awful lot of sewing going on this week. It's been a very busy week or it feels like a very busy week. So I'll fill you in a bit of that first, you know, the bit of the crack and the gossip. So um, if you watched last week, you would know on Friday night, Friday last week was my daughter's birthday. So we went out for a lovely curry. If I've still got some pictures, I'll pop them in. It was absolutely gorgeous. We went to, oh, I've just forgotten the name. It's in Newcastle, so you probably wouldn't know where it was. It was gorgeous. And then we went to what used to be called Ghetto Golf, but it's now called Golf Fang. No idea why i think they're all over the country um which was really good fun i absolutely lost but it was hilarious i mean i was totally rubbish i was either totally rubbish or totally brilliant because i got two holes in one but i was nowhere in the middle you know what i mean but it was a really good laugh we got one little picture of us all on there and it was just really nice to go out with an ira and aaron and me and carl and just do that thing all all together you know um so Saturday I was at work and then we were off to see Michael McIntyre on the night who I really like and was really really funny and thoroughly enjoyed it but by Sunday we were just knackered um, like my you know we're all we all get up early don't we but I can't cope with so many early starts and so many late nights any anymore so yeah so on just didn't kind of really happen Sunday and Monday for various reasons and then on Tuesday I was also kind of off work but had things going on but I was like right I got this fabric last week it arrived just after I shared my vlog so this is from Fleur et Hours who is based in the UK it's a viscose and that is just I'm just loving everything like lilac -y, purple pale blue look at my nails I've done those I'm quite impressed with these I'll put this up to the camera because I've done look at that what can you see like a marble effect. I've done it on those fingers and my thumbs as well. And um, they all look very different. I was playing around, but yeah, I'm quite impressed with myself. So I thought, oh, colours are matching very, very well there. So I did get four metres of it. I think I'm sure, unless, I mean, it was probably a middle of the night order. Um, I thought it wasn't very wide. And I thought, oh, to do this, I'm going to need probably four metres. I've got about a metre left and I was thinking, because it's so soft, I might make some like pyjama shorts for summer and the holidays out of the, the bottoms. There's probably enough to do like an Ogden cami or something, but I wouldn't wear that. Um, but I thought, yeah, I might just make myself a pair or two if I've got enough of these, because they'll be lovely and lightweight for packing for holidays or just sleeping in. Um, so yeah, got that straight in the washing machine and I have cut out my second fibre mood judy dress i adore this dress i've made one it's still a little bit loose on me i know it's meant to meant to be really loose as i said last time i lengthened the sleeves by two inches i'll drop the picture in again of the last one i'm wearing it loads i just need to get more of them so i'm not wearing the same one all the time um and i think i mentioned that my daughter's move um go to live abroad She's actually going to be based in the south of France because a couple of people have asked me, what, you know, where where is she going to? And um, she's been doing some courses and, well, for about a year and a half and lived with us a bit to save up um, because she's wanted for quite a long time, even though she did law at uni, she wants to be a deckhand on a super yacht. So she's off to the south of France. So she's going to be based in Antibes um, for about a month and then we'll see where she ends up after that. So I'm going to stay with her. Um, in the middle of April for a few days so she'll be there about a week and then I'll arrive for about five days which would be lovely I'm really looking forward to it and um, so I thought if I make another one of these the lovely and light um, an area I mean it won't be red hot it'll be about 17 or 18 degrees but I just think they'll be nice to wear I can wear them with trainers if we go out for dinner I can wear them with sandals and um, so yeah so this is a really easy make um, um, there's quite a lot of these sort of dresses isn't it? I mean I've made a lot of indigos this is a looser fit it's got the curve on the waist which I really like and it does have a button placket on the back which I didn't actually do the buttonholes last time because I'd never be able to reach around to do it to fasten them up but this time I've actually altered the pattern and done it without the the button placket on it and I'll see how I like it it's quite a busy fabric anyway and um, I think I've matched it up as well as I can, like, you know, to get make sure the front's level and stuff, we'll see, won't we? I might not cut into this spare metre until I've really checked that out. 
so yeah um i made this in a large but i did end up i think i took about an inch in it either side last time so and then it still needs more and so i have sort of um prepped it to take a bit more in on that but i'm looking forward to getting that finished it's already on my cotton mat over there and i'm at um a stitch in time which is a, another social sewing group on sunday which is in tesco at kingston park in their community room i don't think i'm going to take it to sew because it's all kind of ironed and nice and if i put it in a project bag well it'll just look like it's been scrunched up and i'll spend probably 30 minutes ironing all the pieces out so i need to think of something else i'm going to take there on sunday i'm not sure what i've got a couple of remakes that i mentioned last week that i'm coming to and another couple of things that i've thought about that i might want to do something with so yeah i might just take those like little things that i can potter with rather than a whole garment um so i am looking forward to getting some sewing time in this week i have missed it so one of those alterations is the dress on the door behind me there which if you remember last week is it's the sagebrush top attached to the skirt so i'm thinking if i take that that doesn't really crease that fabric so i could um i'm just going to extend the sleeve so i can take that and have a look at that um and one of the projects that i'm talking about is a, a tilly and the buttons billy sweatshirt but it's the one that had the puff sleeves and i'm just not loving it with the puff sleeves anymore so i might just take those sleeves out and recut them to the plain sleeves and then re-put those in and i think i'll reach for it a bit more if i do that and oh hang on i've got the other one here so this is extremely creased because I literally have just chucked it in the wash so this is an ava blouse is it ava blouse i'm sure that's what it's called by the dressmaker's closet in this fabulous minerva fabric which is still available it's one of their viscose chalice exclusives so it's got the necktie but i'm not going to be office based i don't i don't particularly need officey clothes and it's not dead officey but it's not my casual style so i'm wanting to repurpose this and i did get last year two meters because i was thinking i was just going to put a skirt onto this and turn it into a dress but i'm thinking about seeing if i can rehash it into another of my favorite patterns the um style like bell dress i'm thinking i probably can um i need to really check if i've got enough fabric and um yeah I mean, if I don't, I don't mind ordering a little bit more, but I, I, I think, oh, now I'm thinking about it, that bell dress does take a good three metres of fabric, so it'll probably just depend. I think with this, it, it probably has a direction, but, you know, like if I need to turn these around or do something with this like this could become the waistband as long as I can get I think as long as I can get the sleeves and the skirt out of the two meters I've got I think I could get the rest of the dress probably out of this we will see it does have a double layer yoke I'm just trying to think it's a while since I've made it at the back and I have got some white viscose chalice so if I needed to I could kind of do those bits with the white so that's an experiment now I'm not sure when I'm going to start that it may be soon it may not we will see um but that's the other alteration that's on my list I've got a whole bag full of them because I've got loads of stuff that's too big for me now and that's the one of the reasons I'm doing I hung that out for a while ago is that it is too big so I need to do something with it anyway um and I'm going to show you this because, well, I just think it's the right thing to do. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's ever done this. So I've been on with the alterations to this jacket. I couldn't find the original picture. Um, I didn't have much storage in my phone. I've just had to get more Apple storage. And so it meant that because my I edit my vlogs on my phone, I kept having to delete things. So I think I've deleted the original picture of it out. But this is the pink wool jacket i've been talking about for a little while but which i wasn't reaching for I told you last week guys it had bigger the sleeves were too big it's the fiber mood flavia but it had the billy sleeves in so i'm kind of halfway through it so one new sleeve is in on this side pockets are in internal pockets i'm probably going to put a button on there and a little sort of tie 
thing or something on there because I think I could stitch it without it being too obvious on the front. But what do I need to show you? I need to show you how beautifully well this sleeve went in except I'm now unpicking it because instead of matching this seam to the side seam, I matched it to the shoulder seam. What a complete numpty. Um, so I'm unpicking it, literally, as we speak. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I mean, I'm saying I haven't done much sewing this week. By the time I'd done all, all of everything I was wanting to do to this jacket, there was only actually the shoulder seams and the yoke that were attached. So I probably have done a bit more than I, I thought that I had. So um, I did take the button off to do this. So what I've done is I basically just attach sorry it's pins in it attach the pocket into the side seam because i'd unpicked the side seam and then i've just gone down that side seam and it to cut that off gone down that side seam and to lock it into this side is that called a yoke i don't know what it would be called um i've just i've actually done it with a single needle chain stitch because that's what i had on at the time um I've just done one row of stitching up here, which you can hardly even see. I didn't want it to be sort of decorative. Um, so that means that the pocket is locked in at that side and locked in at the side seam and then locked in at the bottom because the bottom folds over. So that was a, like a pretty easy alteration to get some pockets into this. Um, and once I get the sleeve round the right way, that's nearly done isn't it and what I'm gonna do is just to sort of secure the bottom I think I'm just gonna sew around a layer of stitches which isn't part of the pattern but where these pleats are I have stitched them up a little bit already when I made the jacket so I think what I'm gonna do is just do a row of stitching along there to just sort of secure the bottom of those pockets in place and the pleats in place and when I tried this on earlier on see if I can the right sleeve in. I couldn't believe I did that. We've all done something like that haven't we from time to time but it was a proper dirt moment. So it's it's got quite a good length on it. It will need to gather in. Now I could put a cuff on but what I'm thinking about doing is just turning it up, putting some wide maybe one inch elastic through and just doing it as like an elasticated cuff but a nice deep cuff and I think that'll just take it to the length that I want and it'll just gather it uh, gather it in nicely and if I don't like it I can always add a cuff on but it is a little bit long so I think that'll take it to the right length anyway and then I see this being a jacket that I'm going to reach for an awful lot more and um, I'm just going to leave it with the one button on the top so I just need to stitch that back on again so I've not got an awful lot left to do with with that just trim off some bits or should I say thread that through the stitches I'll do it the right way um yeah so um what else have I got to tell you about oh yes Carl so when you buy baby locker overlockers I've no idea why I don't know if it's the same in America you don't get a um like a waist bin what do you call them trim bin what do you call them on an overlocker um and I didn't think I was bothered about it I mean I've had my I've had the enlightens for a couple of years anyway obviously in the uk you might have seen um jane white who has baby lock you baby lock uk facebook group she's been taking orders they're about 30 pound i think and then i did see baby lock share about them and that they become coming to all of your dealers and a couple of people and um, adam was one of them messaged me and i was like yeah i know and then carl was printing out some 3d printing i don't know something that he was doing and I went well how big does your printer print out because I, I thought it could only do little things and he went oh no I can do 29 tw centimeters by 29 centimeters so 12 hours of printing later I've got a trim, trim bin that's what they called I've got one for my acclaim it's not as long but I'll put a picture in I'm quite pleased well I'm really pleased with it and so is he because it just slotted it's just slotted on it's big enough if they're too big I find sometimes your fabric ends up dropping in them and you end up with stuff everywhere anyway um, and he's going to print one for my enlighten please don't all put in the comments will he do one for me because he's doing them for a couple of friends um, and th this one took 12 hours to print and he's just come up and said I am going to do the enlighten one but the file I downloaded said 51 hours to print um, 
and it's in like his little office where he works but he can't work while that's printing so like he did this one overnight it was fascinating though because it was like all layered up inside and then he's had to kind of pull all the insides out but yeah i'm over the moon with that um so i just got one reel of white filament i think that was about 15 pound well he got it i don't know what the order and um it's going to do the two for me and two for two friends i think so um yeah and if i'd got one for this and one for my enlightenment it would have been 60 quid so happy days i'm over the moon absolutely over the moon with that and very grateful he might even get his team here tonight what do you think so that's been my week and there's lots of stuff going around in my head because I've been debating about whether I stay in this room when my daughter leaves or I move into the double room next door um, we could just fit a double bed in this space and have the turn my cutting area back into a fitted wardrobe so although this room would be tight it's only ever going to be for sort of guests or an odd night stay and I did think about moving into the room next door but when we planned it out I thought I don't really think I gain much for storage and stuff but I think I'll just gain more from space and I think I will easily be able to have an ironing board up and down which is quite important to me and um, because to get the ironing board out I need to go downstairs at the minute so I kind of press on my, my cutting mat and it's yeah I think that having an ironing board will really enhance my pressing capabilities so I think that's gonna happen I mean, it won't be like 30 minutes after I drop an eye off at the airport, but it could be like, you know, fairly soon. So, yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. That's a little bit of excitement, isn't it? And, um, yeah, I'm going to check out there because I'm rambling now. So, I hope you've probably had a more productive sewing week than I have, or your head's maybe just full of stuff as well. I hope you're all well. I hope you're, you know, just enjoying yourself because that's what life's all about and I will check back in with you really really soon so bye for now